friends, how is it going for everyone? We're two weeks into the journey 21 day mindfulness and really excited at all the feedback, all the love, all the impact. Today, we're going to talk about giving back. My favorite actor is Denzel Washington. He said something beautiful. He says, end of the day, it's not what you have. It's not what you've accomplished. It's about who you lifted up and who you have made better. It's about what you have given back. And that's beautiful. Now, the thing is, before you become a contributor to, the, to another and to the universe, you will have to fill your own bowl with delicious recipe that has blissful ingredients of self-love and self-compassion. Only then would you find meaning, balance, and fulfillment, which aligns with your purpose and values. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Now, remember, I talked about having a razor-sharp focus on day three. So it's now time to bring that focus back by becoming becoming aware of your behavior patterns of um, which which actually are the ones that get you into trouble um, they get you stuck in the past and it it just completely lessens your self-love so I have specially prepared a seven-step prescription that will help you fall in love with yourself and attract the things we most desire the first is become mindful of what we think, feel, and want. So second, be centered and mindful to act on what you need versus what you want. Third, practice what I've been saying, self-care. I bring that back to the table. Nutrition, exercise, sleep, intimacy, and healthy social inter interactions. Now, how about setting boundaries? That's number four. Very important. And again, I say this, and I did this yesterday as well. Set limits or say no to work activities and people that deplete you, harm you physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Fifth, protect yourself. Bring the right people into your life. And I love the frenemies have you ever heard of it it's the kind of friends who take so much pleasure in your pain they'll be very nice to you on your face but they're actually so happy with um, your lack of happiness and success in your life sixth forgive yourself bring you know we humans are so 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 hard on ourselves and remember Actually, there's no failures. So if you've learned and grown from your mistakes, these are only lessons learned. These are not failures. Seven. Okay, that's the last. Live intentionally. If your intention, which we have worked through in the last uh, about 10 sessions, if it is to live meaningful and healthy life, then make the right choices. Uh, take the right decisions. That supports that intention. Uh, in fact, I love uh, the concept of Ikigai, which is marrying purpose of life with profession. And I take these sessions for people so that we there's a whole uh, system and a self-mastery class where you can actually find the purpose in your life after we have done, um, I think it's a two, two half-day sessions and it's available on my website. Now, remember... Self-love is not selfish, and you can truly, truly not love another until you know how to love yourself. So I would say, um, please go to my website, actually to my YouTube first, and there is a meditation called the Ego Meditation. I suggest you access it. It has been seen hundreds of times and the feedback that I have from people is amazing. People have come out of depressions and I think I have put um, feedbacks and testimonials there. So I will see you tomorrow. In the meantime, let's see how we can give back and the first step to stop lying on bed feeling depressed and thinking I'm full of flaws. You are perfect as you are. I will see you tomorrow.